Hi, I'm Nathan, keyboardist in the Exchange. I'm making this video because some people asked some questions about the um, few live streams that we've made. Uh, th what they were curious about is that sometimes uh, my hands corresponded nicely with what they were hearing, and sometimes they didn't, and they wondered why that was. The reason is basically because this is a keyboard that can sound like anything. So sometimes the sounds that come out of it don't seem like they would be something that comes out of a keyboard. So I'll, I'll show you some of that. First of all, it is very good at sounding like uh, what a keyboard should sound like. For example, uh, it does a great job of sounding like a grand piano. Another thing that um, you'd expect a keyboard to sound like would be a church organ. Hmm. And you'd expect it to sound like a big rockin' rock organ. And you'd expect a keyboard like this to sound like uh, a, a classic Fender Rhodes sound. Um. Or a clavinet, which is the instrument that uh, you, you hear in a whole bunch of Stevie Wonder songs. But uh, in addition to that, it sounds like a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, it does very good job of sounding like a string section, all kinds of different string sections, and you can fine-tune it and kind of add more cellos or more violas or more double basses. So, hmm. And all of the orchestral sounds does a great job with all the orchestral sounds. So like the beginning of Blinding Light, there's a, a sequence where you, you hear on the original recording trumpets and trombones coming in nice and heavily. Then a nice uh, kind of viola, violin section. Then French horns. And a little wind noise in there. And then the big synth. So it does all that. And you, you notice that um, different sections of the keyboard you, you, uh, can, can sound like different things. It's completely variable. I can have one small part of the keyboard sound like one thing and split it up into eight or ten different sections. I, in some songs, I have just one note being a Hammond sound or being a hand clapping sound. So I combine them. Uh, this is a nice thing, I think, uh, in the, um, and I don't want to miss a thing. There's a nice piano and strings on top. Maybe you might recognize it. Ooh, wrong setting. And uh, then uh, actually does, <laughs> I think, a great job at doing a, just a, a, a jazz horn section. 
So you have to kind of play it right. But So in I Wish, there's a nice solo, you know. And then it's up. And let's see what else. I think I'll skip ahead a little bit. I do um, a lot of percussion stuff uh, in the exchange uh, because there's lots of percussion instruments that supplement a, a lot of songs that you hear. So there's a selection of hundreds of percussion instruments. So like in Sucker, the, there's the, the, um, I use three different instruments here. And in the chorus, there's this kind of major hand clapping. In addition to having all this synthesis and these different sounds that are available, you can uh, you can create your own sound if you know if you, by creating wave files. So, uh, so for example, the beginning of Eye of the Tiger, uh, there's this big uh, crescendo that basically consists of the sound of a big grand piano playing a big note in reverse. So, so to, to get that, I just, I recorded this. Put it into my WAV file editor, turned it up back backwards so you hear the last sounds first, and so on. Uh, and did other modifications to create this the the thing that you hear on the recording, which is this. That big guitar comes in there. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Take care.